Well, my house is bare and silent. The tree is down and the carols have been put away. Welcome to another year. As John and I watched 2021 roll in this year, I thought to myself, what a conversation I would have had with myself last year as we watched a new year roll in. I would have said, you know, there's no need to panic, but things are gonna get interesting. There will be political and social unrest and there will be this itsy bitsy, so small you can't even see it thing, which is gonna change everything. But other than that, 2020 will be fab. Now 2020 was all of that. There was political unrest as Brexit loomed, social unrest as we were called to remember that black lives matter. The, the virus and its resultant pandemic did change everything. But then this verse from Isaiah came to mind. I am about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Now this verse sprang to mind because hope did spring forth like rivers in the desert. People did agitate to honor black lives and with them all lives. Marcus Rashford encouraged us to feed children. Sir Tom Moore reminded us that though we are in lockdown, spirits might soar. And the NHS and all frontline workers were given their due. And the church, well, the church embraced its prophetic role. And like Isaiah, witnessed to new things. Now, before you say, really? How did we do that? Remember what we discovered or rediscovered. The church is far more than a building. The building is that sacred space where we gather to offer our tears and our laughter and our hope and our prayers for one another and indeed for all creation, absolutely. But as generations before us discovered, we are called to be a living sanctuary beyond walls for God is with us everywhere. and We are never alone. Remember, remember Mr. Wesley? He took to his horse and he preached in the fields and he said, the whole world is my parish. Now through technology, the whole world became our sanctuary and our parish. We witnessed to hope and grace where we were and how we were. We stood in solidarity with those who were not able to meet by deciding ourselves not to physically meet. We applauded our frontline workers and held them in our prayers. The church buildings might be closed but indeed our parish is everywhere. Now 2021 at the moment seems little more than a continuation of 2020 as we go into full lockdown once again. Once again, we're asked to make decisions and choices because we know that the virus moves only when we move. And we will rise to the challenge and we will see opportunities to witness to God's love and grace in our parish. For God is with us and we are our sisters and our brothers keepers. This is the way of justice love. So 2021 will be a year of challenges, but also a year of hope. God said so through Isaiah. Let God say it through us as well, wherever we are and however we are. You see, the, dec the decorations have come down and the carols are silent for another year. But that's when the work of Christmas really begins. 
And so we will pray with words and with deeds and live hope. For God is with us and we are not alone. God bless.